Which is the best 2023 Range Rover Sport vs Porsche Cayenne? Let's start with 2023 Range Rover Sport. This is the first time we've tested the Range Rover Sport with the 3.0-liter straight-six petrol engine. Although like the rest of the range the Range Rover Sport isn't as sharp to drive as its rival, but it's still excellent when you consider how heavy it is. Well-weighted steering and a good level of grip mean it's still relatively engaging for an SUV, and with plenty of performance, it doesn't lag behind its sportier rival. Standard air suspension means you can adjust how stiff the Range Rover Sport is on the fly, using the various driving modes. In the softest setting it's comfortable, but it loses its composure when dipping into potholes, although this is typical of a 2.5-ton car on 20-inch wheels. As you go faster, the ride settles, and motorways are dealt with very well, with the Range Rover staying smooth even over expansion joints. Both cars here have a braked towing capacity of 3,500 kg, which is good news for those looking to hitch a trailer or caravan. Their powerful engines should make pulling heavy loads easy enough. It wasn't as quick from 0 to 60 miles per hour, but the Range Rover's extra torque meant it was faster in all of our in-gear tests. For example, it took 2.5 seconds to go from 30 to 50 miles per hour in third, while the Porsche took 2.8 seconds, and it took 6.5 seconds to go from 50 to 70 miles per hour in sixth gear, where the Cayenne took 7.3 seconds. There's a lot of suspension and chassis technology included on the Range Rover Sport. Air suspension is standard, with adjustable height settings for ease of access or extra ground clearance where required. For off-roading, there's an electronic center differential and Land Rover's terrain response system, which has different modes to choose from, comfort, grass, gravel, snow, mud and ruts, sand, and eco. For £930 you can buy the off-road pack, which adds a transfer box to switch between high and low ratios, and terrain response too, adding extra tech including a rock crawling mode. The P400 comes with driving modes as standard, so you can adjust its on-road manners. The Range Rover Sport is one of the most popular large premium SUVs around, so it's a benchmark for the Cayenne Coupe to beat. Although the model in our pictures is an HST, we're basing our test on the P400 HSE, which costs £70,695. Of course we've tested this model before, but serial updates have kept it fresh, and it's now available with a new engine that brings it close to the Cayenne for specification. The P400 we're testing has a 3.0-liter straight-six petrol motor under the bonnet, which means it's a rival for the entry-level version of the Cayenne Coupe, which has a 3.0-liter V6. We'll find out which of these high-end models is the best to drive and which has the best engine, but every other area will also go under the microscope. The winner will need to satisfy in the other core areas that SUV buyers are looking for, high-tech kit, comfort, luxury and quality. The Cayenne uses Porsche's MLB Evo platform, so it shares parts with the Audi Q7, Q8, Bentley Bentayga, Lamborghini Urus and VW Touring. This advanced platform uses multi-link suspension all round, and Porsche has tuned it to deliver adaptive air suspension as available for £1,511, and this adds self-leveling that continuously varies the damping to suit conditions. There's also Porsche Dynamic Chassis Control, PDCC, which costs £2,315 and uses active stabilization to further reduce roll. Sharp handling, as buyers would expect of the brand. The Cayenne Coupe uses a 3.0-liter V6 turbo, which is different to the 2.9-liter V6 in the S version, and it has 335 bhp and 450 Nm of torque. This trails the new P400 engine in the Range Rover Sport, which has 395 bhp and 550 Nm. Both use 8-speed automatic gearboxes driving all four wheels. The Porsche's cabin is more driver-focused than the Range Rover Sports, and it has a great driving position that's reminiscent of the brand's sports cars without losing the high-up feel you get from an SUV. Material quality is very good, and the Cayenne feels better built than its rival as well. Standard kit includes 19-inch wheels, leather seats, a powered tailgate and a widescreen infotainment system with connected services and Apple CarPlay. The Cayenne Coupe is much lighter than its rival, which helps handling and ride comfort.